tonight I will be imaging one of the most loved targets in the entire autumn sky, and that is the Heart Nebula. More specifically, I will be imaging the Lot 15 in the core of the Heart Nebula. My field of view simply is not wide enough to get the whole nebula, so I'm just going to have to go for a lot 15 in kind of that inside region, which is perfectly fine because it is a very dynamic and beautiful region of space. I'm very excited to put a full integration into this target since I have not done that before, though I have put about an hour and a half into it. I wasn't happy with the image, so I'm very excited to see how this result turns out, saying that my two and a half hours of data I've already collected is looking astonishingly good. The setup that I'm going to be using tonight is the same as always, the Ioptron Sim 26 mount, the Quattro 150p telescope, the SV Boney 30mm guide scope, the ASI 120mm mini guide camera, along with the ASI Air to control the whole rig, and the ASI 585 imaging camera, along with the Optolong L Enhance. Now this is a very beginner friendly target, so if you just have a DSLR and a telephoto kit lens and a star tracker, you can still get a very respectable image on this. It is located right below the constellation of Cassiopeia and has a little companion, the Sol Nebula. If you can frame both of these targets together, it will make a beautiful composition. That's something I plan to do in the future is get an image of both of them together if I can get a good wide field lens like a Rokinon 135 or something. But until then, I'm going to be using my deep space telescope to get up close and personal on the individual targets. It will not be long at all until the targets of Orion and Monoceros are back in our sky as we go into the winter months later on and late November and December. I personally cannot wait to shoot those targets again. There are some really cool objects I want to get to this winter that I did not get to last winter, and especially this fall. I was actually without a rig last fall from where I sold my past rig and was waiting to buy my new one, so I didn't really do much astrophotography over the fall at all last year, so I'm very excited to image some of the fall targets I just did not get to. Alright, so I'm getting polar aligned in things. Uh, after I get polar aligned, I'm going to check collimation on a bright star, then finish tweaking the focus to make sure I get peak sharpness, because there's so many small and very beautiful details in here that I just want to get. So I'm going to make sure I am absolutely 100% perfectly focused. Focus is super important. You always have to make sure your focus is on point. Okay, now I got polar aligned, so we're just going back to the home position here. Then I'm going to slew to a bright star in Cassiopeia, which is where we're going to be pointed anyway for our target, to make sure we can get our good collimation of focus. You always want to choose a very bright star to do collimating of focus on. It'll be a lot more efficient because your exposures will have, it can be a lot shorter, and it's just a lot easier to focus on a bright star and collimate on a bright star anyway. Plate solving to make sure we're on the bright star, and we're definitely going to need to collimate because our stars are disfigured. So hopefully we can get collimation pretty quickly because it's almost completely dark, and we need to start imaging as soon as possible because I want to get as much data as I can. There is a Starlink train going above us right now, which I find super cool. The Heart Nebula is actually right in there where the Starlink train is passing by. Funny enough, it went straight through the Heart Nebula. That is really cool. Wow. The subs are coming through and they look nice. The guiding is going pretty well. And we're going, we're taking five minute subs right now. I cannot wait to see the end result. Like I said, I already stacked and processed two and a half hours, and it is looking absolutely astonishing. But my lot 15 is this feature in here that looks really cool. And there's these other like dark clouds sticking out from this area that is rich with hydrogen alpha over here. And all through this, there's a lot of O3 data mixed in too, which you will see in the final image. And th this whole composition is just absolutely amazing. This is a target I definitely recommend going after, especially, like I said, for you beginners. This is an easy, entry-level target. Last night was very successful, and I ended up with about 9 hours of total integration time. This is definitely my favorite image on this target, and maybe one of my favorite images I've ever captured. 